Hey guys, I wanted to come on here uncut, unscripted, on the fly and talk about something that was announced in the past 24 to 48 hours by our president concerning this situation that we're in right now. Now we all know that he made the announcement several weeks ago to do the 15 days to slow the spread deal. Hashtag 15 days to slow the spread. Well, recently in the past 24 to 48 hours he made the announcement that not only does he acknowledge that we're coming up on the deadline, which is next week, but he also made an announcement that's gotten a lot of mixed reactions by a lot of people. And that is the fact that he wants this country up and running, once again, economically and stuff, by Easter. By Easter Sunday, the week of Easter, however you read into it or whatever you want to believe, the media is spouting out and all that. He's basically saying, look, I want things up and going by that time frame. Now, one thing I don't think he says is um, that he doesn't acknowledge is he doesn't want everything up and going, like all at once. No, I think what he's trying to say is he wants a slow progression back to normalcy. Because I think he realizes that we're going into the warmer weather seasons. He's not going to say that. That's something we can all see. And if we listen to what doctors and experts and all that are saying, a lot of them have concluded that warm weather, warm environments, hot environments of whatever kind, weather, liquids, heaters, you name it, they are essential to combating this, vi uh, this situation. And basically, it's because this situation doesn't like heat of any kind. So anyway, long story short, I think Trump acknowledges that we're heading into that time of year to where that's going to be essential. Now, the reason I say this is met, uh, met with mixed reactions is because obviously you have Dr. Fauci, who is one of the leads of Trump's uh, medical uh, administration or whatever, something like that, one of the people he leans into or relies on. And obviously you could tell that they don't always agree on stuff or see to eye to eye. Um... Uh, like I said, what was I trying to say? Um, yeah, you know, people like like Fauci and a few others, you, you can tell they're not like in agreement with what he's saying. They're trying to say, look, it's going to take longer than that. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. And what's interesting is now, if Trump doesn't change his tune in the next day or so and say, you know what, I've kind of reconsidered what I'm saying. It's going to take longer, but I want to make an exception because I think that's what he'll do. I think he'll make the exception of come Easter, yeah, you can get back together for that one day, and then you got to eat heed to your state's orders to kind of slow the virus. So I think that's what Trump may essentially come out and say that, yeah, he wants things up and going by Easter, but after reconsideration, he'll make Easter that one exception and then kind of go back to what we're doing. Um, he did acknowledge that within the next uh, week or so after this two-week situation, that if they do need more time, they will probably give more time. Um, but a lot of people have pointed out there are many states in uh, in the country that, you know, they may have, you know, the situation among them, but not but they're not reporting a lot of cases. And if they are, it's just like one or two a day. So I think that's what he's trying to look at. He's trying to look at the positives outweighing the negatives. Now, on top of that, of course, you have some of the government officials, mostly governors of the state, that see otherwise. You know, like here in California, you have Governor Newsom that basically came out today or yesterday and said it's going to be pivotal, that the next six to eight weeks is going to be pivotal in what, we, in what the decisions are. And a lot of people are not happy about that. Some are, some are not. And it's like, really? Six to eight weeks, maybe six to twelve weeks? Are you out of your mind? That's, that's not going to work. Now, some may say that Newsom is also looking at the warmer weather situation as well. Like, hey, look, if you look at the next 6 to 12 weeks, what are we going to get? What are we heading into? That's going to help. That's why I want to wait and hold off. And it gives more time for a lot of stuff to come in. I get that. But then you also have people that, you know, come on to, pl you to places like YouTube and have their shows where they kind of talk about things the media and others don't talk about. And that's what's really the purpose. That's what's really the agenda 
And some might say, oh, the reason Newsom wants to hold off, maybe, or say the next six to eight weeks is pivotal, or six to 12 weeks is pivotal, is he's hoping for more cases to pop up and all that. So it makes, you know, Trump look bad. Because a lot of people have still are still pointing out, a lot of people, I should say, are still looking at the fact that the reason... The reason a lot of people don't know what's going on or don't know what to believe is because you have one side, the Trump administration and Trump himself saying, hey, look, this is what's going on. We're making great progress and all that. And then you have uh, people on the other side, some that are within the Trump administration and some Democrats and all that, like Pelosi and others, that are making it sound worse. Or right, so sounding indifferent. You got things like the New York Post, you got this, you got that, that are basically mixing up a lot of words and nobody knows what to believe. But the question is, though, will the country be ready to go or at least sort of in, be in a restart, a, a retcon stage by Easter, as I put it, um, like Trump wants it to be? And I would, I would say parts of it. I'm going to be honest. I think parts of the country, maybe even parts of bigger infected areas, will be ready to restart, ready to retcon, reboot, if you will, and try to get life back to normal. That's what I'm thinking. There will be some states and some parts of the larger infected area states that will be ready to go. Uh, but in reality, I think we're looking at, in my opinion, because of the warm weather being a, a factor, being a positive factor, I think we're looking at more along the lines of late April and through May. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking through late April, mid to late April through May. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking basically maybe at a week afterwards, not, you know, the week of Easter, but maybe a week or two afterwards going into May. And then May will basically be the the month that, in my opinion, by the grace of God, is going to set the tone of uh, the defeat of this situation. So, but, you know, again, will we be all ready to go? Um, I, again, like I said, I think some parts of the country and some small pivotal portions of the more infected states are going to be ready to go, but not everybody. And I believe, honestly, we're looking at a mid to late April throughout May um, realistic target for everything to start getting back into normalcy, or at least trying to. Uh, because, again, you got to look at a lot of the dates that some companies are giving like bonuses or extra money to the employees and associates for. It's running up to about June. So I think everybody's looking at that warm weather situation as being, you know, like the fighting, the positive outcome we need or the positive factor we need in this. Now, could Trump override some of the, some of the governors that want to wait an additional six to eight weeks or additional four weeks Four or six weeks after, you know, the 1st of April or after Easter? I think, honestly, yeah. Because, you know, you can go on the internet, you can read all about, you know, how this works and that works from a political standpoint, but you're not going to know everything. You're not going to read about everything. Because there are times when things happen that, from a political standpoint, things just, all of a sudden the solution just comes out of nowhere, and you're like, well, where did this come from? I've never heard about it. And then you find out, oh, it's just something that they keep hidden, they keep secret, and only pull out once in a while when necessary. So I think Trump honestly could, in my opinion, override the government, uh, all the state governors, and say, hey, I want it done by Easter, I want it open by Easter, that's what's going to happen, and I'm going to override you. And he'll find a way to do it. There's something, there's, there's some kind of, uh, um, I, I don't know what it is, some kind of law, secret law or something like that that we don't know about secret kind of like last resort kind of thing that it, you know presidents have have in the possession I think that they'll be able to that they learn about they find out about that they can use if necessary but they don't let the, don't let it get out to the public so I think honestly yeah I think Trump will use some kind of hidden agenda or hidden uh, means that we don't know about political wise to override the governors and say hey you're gonna do it I'm gonna make you do it so that's just my opinion. But again, overall, I would say, again, oh, will, we, will this country be ready by Easter? I'd say parts of the country, and I'd say small, pivotal parts of the more infected states will be ready. Not everybody, because I think we're looking more at a 
mid to late April throughout May situation. So, but let me know what you guys think though down below. Comment if you like, and I'm out.